love salads or you love kachumbari, you'll definitely love this particular recipe. And I'll explain to you in a few. And today let's make an egg omelette. And with me here, I have my ingredients. And I have my eggs. I have my cooking oil, some salt. And this is a mixture of spices. And I have some paprika and some black pepper. So let's get started. As I mentioned, if you love salads or you love kachumbari, you're going to love this recipe. And this recipe is just a very simple recipe, probably among the very first recipes I was ever taught by my mother back in the days. And we are simply going to start by cubing all our ingredients. That is the onions, the bell peppers, and the tomatoes. And we are going to cube them into very small pieces. And then we are going to mix it with our egg. Today I'm going to be using one egg and I'm going to add all my ingredients in here. Then I'm going to mix this so that everything combines beautifully. Then I'll also crack in my egg and I'm just going to be making one egg. Then I'm going to break the yolk and I'm going to beat everything till everything is well mixed and evenly distributed. I'll add my salt, just a pinch, and I'm also going to add in my spices. Though the spices are not really necessary for this recipe then once everything is beautifully combined we'll proceed to the other side and let's cook our egg so once my pan is hot enough i'll go in with about half a teaspoon of cooking oil once this is also hot i'll go in with my mixture and we are going to cook this till your desired doneness i like my eggs well done with a crust and that's how i'm going to cook them And it was that simple and we are done. And as you've seen, it was that easy. So this is the reason that I said you're going to love this recipe. And you see, we fried everything at once. So the vegetables are not yet fully cooked. So you can see that this is just some salad coated in an egg. And when you taste it, I'm pretty sure you're going to feel the crunchiness of the capsicum. And the tomatoes are going to burst into your mouth. So let's give this a taste test. This is good. As you can see, we have our tomatoes right there. We also have our onions and our capsicum, and this tastes very good. And as you think it was that easy preparing this omelette at home, I hope you're going to try this recipe. It's very delicious, that's a promise. And you can also teach your children this recipe so that they can always be preparing themselves some egg over the weekend and over the holidays too. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.